<sighs> okay. I'm made of milk. Woo! You're made of milk. Yeah, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> We're both made of milk, but we're living in separate glasses. <laughs> Too early for the milk song? <sighs> There's a bit more of a sort of kinky version of the milk song, a sexy song. <laughs> I'm moving away from these people here. <laughs> kinky milk song, you ready? I'm made of milk, woo! You're made of milk, yeah! We're both made of milk, but we're living in separate glasses. Oh, baby, push yourself against the clear surface! <laughs> and relax. <laughs> it's a cheeky milk song for the kids. I'm made of milk, you're a coconut. She's made of milk, she's rice milk. He's made of milk, he's almond. Do you remember when milk came from cows? <laughs> that was a really long time ago. <laughs> We're all middle class milk. I'm made of milk, I'm breast milk. <laughs> Over there is coffee, mate. I don't think you have that here. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done my research. <laughs> Do you have coffee, mate, here? No! Shouldn't have to. It's like powdered milk. We have it in England. You don't have to put it in the fridge. You can chop it up, put it up your anus, snort it. It lasts forever. <sighs> so like a chavy milk. <laughs> you don't have chavs either. <laughs> OK, let's start at the basics. You have humans, right? <laughs> you have bogans here and lads. People say that chavs are like lads. Yeah, you have lads here, no? Like your little hoodies, little rude boys. Like chavs. All right, mate, how's it going? <laughs> I used to be a chav when I was younger. But then I went to art school and I had to hand in my chav notice. <laughs> you get a badge like a sheriff. <laughs> no, no, seriously, do I have to leave really forever? I'm afraid so. OK. Mind how you go, yeah? It's a sad day for me, you know, but then I went to art school and, uh, you know, I still have a sort of affection for chavs, yeah? And I used to live in Hackney when I came out of art school. The irony was I went back there and I used to wear, like, pink cowboy boots and feather boas and there'd be lots of chavs there and they fucking hated me. <laughs> <laughs> I find you haven't really got time to explain that you used to be once a chav. Hey, I'm like you! I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> But this chap said the best thing ever. I was once wearing pink cowboy boots, yeah? And he was so shocked, and I had like a silver outfit on, and he just looked at me and went, Oh my gosh, what is you? <laughs> Not who are you or what are you wearing, what is you? <laughs> so economical. I said, Yes. He went, no. <laughs> it's a beautiful moment between Chav and former Chav. My favorite Chav story ever, though, there was a group of Chavs hanging outside a shop, yeah, and this old lady walked past. Well, she wasn't even old. This lady walked past, and she sort of fell over, and they just laughed. They didn't do anything. And I was furious, and I went and helped her up, yeah, and she said, oh, my knee went. It's really embarrassing. And I sort of sent her on away, and I just couldn't leave it, yeah? I'm a bit South London, and I was a bit angry, and I went, look, what's wrong with you? That woman fell over. You didn't even do anything about it. I mean, Jesus. I was pushing my luck. There's like 10 of them, yeah? And in the end, I went, what if that was your mum? You just leave her on the floor? And the head chav came out and said the best thing anyone's ever said to me. He walked out and went, yeah, the thing is, my mom don't fall over. <laughs> Can't argue with that kind of logic. <laughs> it's a powerful business. <laughs> 